Before I start this video, got a couple of things to tell you about. Uh, number one, if you want to meet me, I'm going to be at Southeast Game Exchange in South Carolina on July 9th and the 10th. A lot of great people there like uh, Metal Jesus Rocks and, and John Riggs. I think you'd love to meet those people, so come out and see us. Secondly, don't forget, I have t-shirts for sale, including this one, but also this brand new design, which I think you might love to pick up. I think it's beautiful, nostalgic, and awesome. So I was on a phone call with uh, Keemstar the other day, and he informed me that there was no way he was going to let me fight Sam Hyde, which sucks. Honestly, I didn't have much of a personal vendetta against Sam Hyde, um, so it's not a huge loss, especially since he's like a foot taller than me, half my age, professionally trained, and was going to murder me. But Keem said he was still proud of my work, and he still wanted to help me fight, and wanted to see me keep going, so he asked me who I wanted to fight. And a few ideas popped into my head, uh, Rich from Review Tech USA, uh, Airsoft Fatty, but then I figured it out, boys. Some people are going to naturally assume I'm talking about Frank Hassel here, but let me make it very clear. That man is so far beneath me, I wouldn't shit on him to save my own life, okay? He is human garbage. Do your own research. Look at the things that man has actually done. Look at the things he's been recently accused of. I will never give him my platform any other time other than this, much less work with him and step in a ring with him. Fuck that guy. But there is someone who is Frank adjacent, the person who originally put me on a podcast with that guy. And every time this guy said something awful and abusive and terrible, the fat bastard sat there and laughed at it. Okay. And obviously I'm talking about the gunt Ethan Ralph. I know Ethan Ralph seems like an easy target because he's fat and old and out of shape and hated on the internet. And so am I. I am all of those things as well, so it's pretty much a perfect match. And there are a lot of reasons to hate Ethan Ralph, and a lot of people do. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about any of those in those videos. Maybe we'll make a takedown video about him at some point to show you really why anybody should want me to beat his ass. But let me tell you why personal reasons. Obviously, as I mentioned, he's the reason the entire Frank Hassel situation happened to begin with. He's the reason I'm a felon because I was put in that situation to begin with and didn't know what the hell to do. Ethan is the person that put us on a podcast together that encouraged Frank Hassel. I put that entirely on Ethan's shoulders, period. But did you ever hear the rumor that my wife cheated on me? That was Ethan Ralph. Did you ever hear that my ex-wife got blacked and I was a cuck? That was Ethan Ralph. That all started with him. Did you hear rumors that I wanted my fans to pay for a Tesla? Did you hear rumors that I was abusive to children? Did you hear rumors about me at all? Those were either started on Ethan Rouse's show or perpetuated over and over, turned into memes and laughing points on his show that he would routinely do going back all the way to 2016. And I got archive footage of this for my takedown video. Ethan Ralph has had a vendetta against me since the beginning. He's been riding my dick since 2016. He's been riding my dick more than any sugar baby or hooker ever did, I can tell you that. Not to mention that Ethan Ralph has backed out of Keemstar's offers to fight over and over again. So if it's someone like me, he might decide to man up. Because if I'm willing to fight you and you're willing to run away from me, then I don't think there's any recovery from that, is there, Ethan? And you know what? For this fight to happen, it's going to be a long, slow journey, but I still want it to happen. I just met with one of my doctors yesterday and I asked him, can I do this fight? And he said, I could, but I absolutely shouldn't. He's afraid of me breaking my neck, breaking a bone, breaking my back, getting my head caved in, having a heart attack. Those are all very valid concerns and things we're going to have to try to mitigate between now and then. Am I healthy enough to be able to do it right now? He seems to think so but he absolutely thinks it's a stupid idea. My doctor wants me to do about $50,000 worth of tests. I have to do physical therapy. I've got to do a stress test. I got to have a, a cardiac event monitor on me for a long period of time. I have to go see a cardiologist and get my heart imaged and check out all of the veins in the heart itself. We have to get into physical therapy and that's on top of the diet and exercise and everything else I have to do to get ready for this fight. And it's going to take six months to a year, but I'm going to spend that money and spend that time and do that thing. And I'm telling you, anybody that chooses to fight me is probably not going to have to do half that. So if I'm willing to do it and I challenge you to a fight, you say no, 
he might be the biggest pussy in the world. The good news is, is I'm a month into going to the gym and I haven't missed a day yet. I love swimming. I'm feeling better every day. I'm getting stronger every day. I'm still eating like shit. I mean, that's probably always going to be a struggle. I've lost some weight, but certainly not enough. And I've got a long way to go to make my doctor happy, especially in that department. But hey, we got time to do it. And I'm excited to get it done. And I'll tell you why I'm so excited. Because for the majority of my life, I've been very much a pacifist, not just in terms of physical violence or things along that lines, but just in observing my life from the outside and just letting it be and, and just letting my body go to shit, letting my life go to shit, just surviving. I've been in survival mode for 48 years, but now I'm ready to actually fight. And I don't just mean fight Ethan or fight somebody else. I mean fight for my life. That's what I'm doing when I'm in the gym four days a week. I am fighting for my life, for my sanity, for my career, for your respect, for my own self-respect. Those are all things I'm fighting for right now, and I'm excited to do it. I can't believe I got there. After years of saying I was trying to get there, I'm getting there. It's pretty great. I know a lot of my fans are going to be mad at me for getting involved in this drama. They don't want to see me fighting. They don't want to see me doing none of that. But I hope for those of you who feel that way, you're excited to see me grow as a person, to change, to get stronger, to stand up for myself and to fight for my life. And if this is the only way I'm willing to do it, and so far it has been, I think it's worth the cost. And I hope I don't lose your respect. That said, guys, I'm going to go hit the gym. Thank you for watching. I love you very much. And I will speak with you again soon. Ethan, I look forward to your response.